It's been brought to my attention that there's a company called Cellular One uh, who just recently bought out a, another cell phone carrier, Centennial Wireless. And over the past four, five, maybe six months, they've had ten kinds of fucking hail with their customers and their service and their customer service. Very problems such as not being able to dial 611 from your cell phone to get in contact with somebody. And then when you do get in contact with somebody, oh, it's you got the wrong number, you have to call somebody else. Does anybody see a problem with that? Any AT&T customers or Verizon customers see a problem with that? You see a problem with being told that you have to wait 40 minutes in a store when you got nine people working there? A simple problem such as paying your bill, you get expedited to the fucking line. But when you got when you got a problem with your phone or with your service, it's a 30 minute wait. But when you gotta pay their $160, $170 inflated bill, oh come right on in. We'll take your money. We'll take your money, sir. What other cell phone carrier do you know, especially in a small town such as Alexandria, Louisiana, has to keep a deputy inside the store because there's so many irate customers? Now ask yourself, is there that many crazy people or is the company really that fucked up? Good. And then, broken promise after broken promise after lie, after lie, after lie. From customer service representatives, from assistant managers, from district managers, from some little Punjabi from Pakistan at 3 o'clock in the morning who's running their customer service because they don't want to give money to American labor. Lie after lie after lie. Oh, we don't know what the problem is. That's their excuse now. Cell phones signal steadily dropping, constantly dropping. That was the only way Centennial was profitable because they had rural customers that were dedicated and loyal to them. They paid their upgraded premiums just to be able to get service in the country. But now that the merger has taken place, those country customers are still paying the upgraded premium and the outrageous price plans and now their signal integrity has dropped dr drastically. And when you call to complain in a very nice way and just ask what is the problem and if there is a problem, what is the time frame on getting the problem fixed? All you get is hostility. Hostility from a company who is constantly, constantly shitting on their customer base. There is no other company in this world that could survive with doing this stuff.